Hello everybody, my name is Marcel Ernie with Ernie Racing News. Today is February 15th and um, we have information on the leaked emails, names, comments and amounts from the Give, Send, Go, uh, the Christian fundraiser for the Freedom Convoy. And uh, Joshua, my associate, is on the call with us, but the special guest is the whistleblower um, Bogan. Is that how you pronounce it? So, Bogan, what what have you found, and tell us a little bit about how you found it and why. Well, um, the the internet, depending on where you look, has been uh, moderately open about it. Um, uh, who, uh, there was a security researcher uh, that had found a vulnerability through a open. Um, Amazon S, what's called an open Amazon S3 bucket. Hmm. And there was actually uh, an exploit that, um, that, that, that I found that uh, was said to be used. Now, uh, they, they grabbed a lot of emails, like a lot. So um, everyone attached to uh, the funds on that on that particular website have been have been leaked, and and it's like this is no longer a myth or anything. This is an actual fact, and um, it got leaked in a zip file. So when you uh, when you unload or when you unzip the zip file, it goes in a CSV a dot CSV. So um, anybody uh, can actually download this file, which is. Um, kind of remotely scary, as yeah. there are there, there are um, uh, websites that have data dumps on them. And uh, I also highly suggest everyone uh, goes and resets. Uh, everyone that has donated to this has uh, goes and resets their passwords. Um, you can check if your email has been compromised by going to haveibeenpwned.com and uh, searching your email. Which will then tell you um, where where it was uh, breached and uh, how long ago. Can you say the website again? How I have been what? It's called haveibeenpwned dot com. So have I been and then pwned is p w n e d dot com dot okay. com. Okay, have I yeah. been? You gotcha. Pwned spelled p w n e d. Pwned. Yeah, it's, it's it, yeah, it's short for pwned. <laughs> now, um, we we spoke earlier to give the the audience here on my YouTube channel a little heads up. Essentially, you said there was over a hundred thirty thousand lines of information, and in those lines, you can correct me. You said there was around ninety six thousand individual people who donated in that information. Um. Yeah. Within so right like off the bat, estimation. Um, I am actually, uh, I can see the file right now, and there's actually 103,449 lines. Okay. So, um, out of those, you can probably minus about 50 lines for, or between 50 and 100 lines for text, and that's how many emails are in there. Yeah. I mean, I see it in front of me. It's pretty scary. You know, I can see here's, oh my God, I even recognize some of these people. That's really scary. Um, yeah, I see names, I see emails, I see the amount, and I see their comment that they made with the donation. Yeah, so one of the biggest issues with this platform was, um, so to, to every web page, there's a uh, front end and back end. So on the front end, it shows as anonymous. However, on the back end, where everything is kept, it shows the real names and the real emails. And it says, yeah. I'm seeing also MasterCard or credit card, it even says that in there. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of information in there, man. It's, so none uh, of it, sorry, uh, so none of it was encrypted? Um, no, not, not, not really. Uh, uh, <laughs> Clearly not. Like, like I said, so somebody, uh, some security researcher uh, that, you know, had ulterior motives. Um, yeah. Ended up, 
Now, I, I, I believe this was a group effort and not just one person in, in general. Um, however, w when they found the exploit, um, it worked uh, against the Amazon uh, S3 bucket. So um, that's like where uh, files are kept in and stuff, right? Uh -huh. uh, um, and I, I think they've updated it. But when I, I mean, when I took a look at it, they're still on Amazon. I don't know if they've like what they've done to secure it, but I'm, I'm, I'm hoping they've, they've done a, a bit of stuff. I mean, I, I guess it's already too late, right? But yeah, because there's a zip file floating around. I mean, like you said, you can download it. Anyone can download it and then it'll spread if they choose to. Totally. Yep. Now, hey. um, let me inter interject. Oh, so ahead, Joshua. You know, we've talked about this briefly. It's like, so why did this happen at the same time as the emergency act? So we have an emergency act now that allows this PM, or even before that, they introduced where they could freeze people's bank accounts. And then Bogdan, how does this relate to the exact same coincidence timing of this being hacked and released? Um, I guess I'm putting two and two together that somebody was paid to hack this information and spread it, Absolutely. and then th by the government probably. And, and at yep. the same time, they have their re ability to freeze people's accounts. And so they're freezing, they're, they could go after the donator's accounts. Now, please, mm -hmm. both of you guys, please go on that. Uh, well, if you don't mind, Bogan, if I uh, start off with this. Uh, yeah, go for it. Some of the first connections that I see is the interesting element that you touched on is the fact that Amazon is involved in this. Now, for myself, I... I always love looking at the business connections because my my background is in branding special or as a spe branding specialist. There we are, <laughs> and so seeing the connections between, uh, i.e., something that uh, you've gotten a message for Marcel and you're still uh, posting that video, is the connection between big box corporations and how they end up funding our go uh, our governments essentially, and so seeing that connection of Amazon propping up in this data and then also the intimacy of even say a group or uh, yeah I do think definitely it would be a group that would be doing this kind of hacking attack especially with the expediency because it was only a matter of days in which they were able to make this breach of uh, data it, it tells me that there's a clear motive in not necessarily taking the money, but more attacking the individuals who have actually made the donations. And so it just really raises a lot of alarm bells. I mean, my mind is racing because even when I was looking at Give, Send, Go, I was looking at the symbolism of their websites and I love secret society stuff. So I see symbols in that. I won't touch on them. But in relation to the information leak, it is fascinating how they specifically target the people who have donated to this. And I've already actually shared on your channel, Marcel, it, how it's impacted people. So people have already had to f close down their businesses because they've received death threats as a result of this. Wow. Let me touch on that too. I just got an email from a guy and he's like, Marcel, how do you handle it? I'm getting threats now because my name was on that leak. Yeah, and I exactly. told him, and so my answer was, it'll take a day or four, and uh, don't worry, you'll forget about it. <laughs> um, well, it, to touch on something very personal, Marcel, when people make those kinds of threats, it's like the police coming knocking on your door. And I know you know that experience very well, and it's not something that people get over very easily. I mean, both you and I, Marcel, have had this experience where we've had close encounters with the police and what occurs when they overstep their jurisdiction um, and so with those individuals I deeply empathize with them because it is it is very traumatizing it is a stressful circumstance to especially receive those kinds of threats oh I know and I mean so, yeah I was super stressed after that Castanet um, <laughs> stupid Castanet did a smear piece on me and I had a whole bunch of haters you know the brainwashed haters coming at me whatever you want to call them Antifa crazy people um, uh -huh. and, but, you know, I did get over it and, uh, time moves on and, and, um, but I've had lots of experience with this throughout my whole life as well. I've always been public and that always brings haters. So yeah, it's, it's something you have to practice. 
Yeah, yeah, and some people are may not be ready for it, and so I think it's important to recognize that we're dealing with people's lives here, and so if you are putting people at stake and making those threats, I do wonder about the authenticity of those threats. So anyone that is listening to this and they have received them, um, I, don't, I treat this as if it's the news. Don't take them necessarily at face value. When you have an immediate physical in the flesh encounter where somebody gives you that threat and is willing to say it to your face, I would take it more seriously. But if it's done over email because of the the nature of internet and online interactions, I would not give it as much credibility. And just remember, I mean, we're talking a lot of people who donated. There is a lot of freedom fighters out there. So there's always going to be yeah. the people that are either paid to be attacking you. And, you know, bring this back down to why was this information leaked? It's They're trying to create hate. This is a hate crime. That's what this is. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And they're wanting to have people who donated to this be targeted. And that's exactly what their intent is, is basically an exposure. But the funny thing is, is the more that people try and bring exposure to other individuals who are doing things that they don't support, it forces them into a position of being exposed themselves. Okay, well, back to... Um... Bogan, you want to continue on with um, some information on this? Yeah, so um, I, I, I can confirm through uh, multiple sources that this isn't like Antifa that did this. This isn't like um, any particular group. However, um, these are um, hackers. Um, I don't believe they're white hat. Um, I don't. I don't believe they're part of any idea as uh the idea behind you know the, the the hacking collective is to have freedom of choice freedom of speech uh etc right and um i don't believe that the people who did this believe in that right so um i i also had had questions uh that um like the, the timing of this was, was extremely ironic. Uh, th that can't be denied. Um, see, now, this movement wasn't just started uh, because of mandates. This movement was started because a majority of these people saw what can stem from uh, what is about to be brought in by uh, the government. Um, I'm not going to drop any names because, like, I don't want you guys to get in trouble or me to get in trouble, but... You know, I, I mean, if, if you, uh, so here, here's a thing for everybody uh, uh, to try. It's called Google Dorks, okay? So um, I learned Google, uh, Google Dorks very early on. And uh, pre-COVID, pre um, I actually uh, ran into some documents. And those documents uh, happened to... Uh, I guess, for lack of a better term, form my judgment towards um, uh, what was coming. So I had made my own decision uh, solely based on the information that I have personally seen. I haven't listened to mainstream media. Um, this, I mean, you, you could probably claim that uh, uh, this is for you know, that the lockdowns are for COVID or whatever. However, um, statistically, like um, the people who have gotten the vaccine or, uh, uh, or, or similar have actually uh, not been immune to uh, anything. So, um, I mean, there's people that say um, the, 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 uh, um, the solution um prevents you from getting sicker well it, it doesn't right because like um I, I can't even tell you how many of my friends and my family have taken this yeah um and, hey bogan let me get um let me interject here on youtube we cannot talk about anything that goes um against the narrative of the who or cdc um let's okay. try to focus more on the leak and and why the leak is happening and yes we all understand what's going on with these um in these needles um, that's spreading in other areas. Let's try to focus more on the mandates and and how the freezing of bank accounts is in relation to this leak. Oh, OK, 
Okay, yeah. So, um, yeah, my bad. It, it, it just like kind of ties into everything, right? But um, I, I, I understand. Um, so there was a um, there was a couple of videos released, and you know, it, it, it was they were solely based on um, the Emergency Act that just got brought in, I, I guess, yesterday by the government, and um, it looks an awful lot like uh, um. <laughs> Without without saying the word, it it sounds like martial law, you know. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, We're gonna. Not, not, uh, without sounding too conspiracy, um, there's there's actually uh, readings within within that that document. I mean, you can get it on Google right now. There's uh, there's stuff in there that that says they can take your property. They can. Also, um, uh, freeze accounts to anybody who has uh, shown support for the uh, the convoy, uh, i.e., um, money donated, food donated, gas donated. So um, the biggest worry that it, uh, I, I, I guess we have right now is those emails being used against these people. Right now, so there, there, there's absolutely no proof that it won't be used against them. And, and if anything, there's actually already evidence that it is being used against them. And yeah. uh, to clarify on some of the knowledge that you touched upon, Bogan, what I don't think a lot of people realize is the Emergency Act, i.e. martial law, has actually been in place since the beginning of this pandemic. And so while they may claim it is an act now, it's actually been enacted since the beginning of this. And uh, I did my own digging on martial law, of course. I have been digging a lot into law presently uh, because of my own circumstances, but also because I'm helping so many individuals or men and women who are dealing with the law presently. And so... Uh, with martial law or the emergency act in particular you know what's fascinating is they need to get approval from the governor general every six months yeah and so every six months or three months uh it's a period of time whereby they need to get confirmation in order to determine whether the emergency is still present or not now what they uh, as you alluded to before Bogan, it is dealing with a particular agenda, and I absolutely agree with that. And what's fascinating is the leaking of this information actually appeals to that agenda and the uh, stripping away of privacy, if you will, because that is one of the components of it. Oh, and, 100%. And I, I love hearing your dialogue because I'm like, oh, I see it. I know exactly where you're trying to allude to without speaking to it directly. And, yeah. and what, what the ultimate goal is, is to remove privacy altogether and commoditize it or basically turn it into a commercial commodity. Yeah. We're all just a product. Um, We're all just a product of the freaking government. Yeah. And actually, what's fascinating is I went on my bank's website today uh, I'm not going to specify which one it was, uh, but they actually had a slogan that they said, we're banking on you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh, geez, your agenda, is, your agenda is right there. So, and this touches on a video that you're going to be posting, Marcel. Um, but with this information, it's showing us how deeply connected this plan is, if you will to what's actually occurring in our society. Now, I don't know if this plan was orchestrated through the Give, Go, Send. I think it's just kind of an impromptu thing. We, as a people, naturally directed uh, our money into something that we thought was good, and it's being utilized in a way to strip us of our rights and freedoms. Now, to clarify, our rights and freedoms are always with us. They can never be taken away. And the fact that the government is doing this is only an example of the wrongdoing and harm that they're causing. So I am really excited for the moment that we hold them accountable because it is coming. As am I. And uh, I don't, I, 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 I'm sorry, I, I don't think I mentioned this, but 
Um, I myself am a, uh, a white hat uh, hacker. So um, I am I am trained through the OSCP. Um, and you know, I, I happen to use some of the skills to you know find out find out this information, and uh, you, you know, it it, it just it, it looks really really odd, you know. Mm. And I I mean, the the the, the convoy is only uh, only trying to you know um, practice their freedom of speech. They're only you know it, it, it it's not like they're doing violent protests like. Um, the media saying they are right like um it was said they toppled over uh the terry fox statue i mean you mean uh, they put on they not, put a not, flag not, on them yeah yeah, yeah we all saw the that terry fox statue, but they cleaned it they, yeah. they, they literally scrubbed it right yeah along with so, remove all the ice around um the, the ottawa war memorial and you know just yeah, yeah. no we, we've all seen it anyone's watching my channel knows that ottawa has never been so clean in its entire life and there's Philip yeah, okay, in the background. Okay. Hold on, Philip, the coffee machine. <laughs> yeah. And, and what's beautiful is is everywhere we've seen this convoy, let's say movement, because I've seen a lot of people use that term, and I think it's appropriate. Everywhere we've seen this movement go to, it's actually been nothing but love and celebration and peace. And it's incredible. Like you shared a video recently, Marcel, today. I was blown away as what was occurring in Coots, Alberta, because, I mean, the fact that there was this in clear intent of planting misinformation and yeah. misevidence. Guns on the table, and, like The Wire on yeah. HBO. I don't know if you've seen The Wire, but yeah, the police are always need, we need guns on the table, we've got to make arrests so I don't, so the guy <sighs> in, in the politics or, you know, the chief, so he can show that he's doing something. <laughs> Reminding me of that. Yeah, exactly. And it, the people basically go, okay, well, they're planting evidence. Let's get out of here. Let's remain peaceful and let's give everyone a hug. Like, oh, I love that. That was just so amazing. Yeah, but you did see my title, didn't you? I just could not, I couldn't not put that in the title that essentially yeah. they sabotaged those, those three excavators as one example with, I mean, we're talking yeah. about... Oh, fifty thousand dollars of damage because the spray foam everywhere. We're talking so many hours to replace all the fuel lines and all the wiring. That is, that's terrible. What the police have done? They didn't just like yeah. they didn't decommission them. They absolutely. It's like you put like a bomb underneath them. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. An act Those of are war. Repairable, pretty much. Well, Four I mean, hours of repair. And they have to be done on site because they're so heavy, of course. Yeah. So. And then to have to shake these people's hands that are just involved with that, for me, it, it has like a, a definitely a two-sided story to think about that. But it does raise a, an interesting question, even if it's necessarily about the give, send, go, or even, say, Coots, Alberta, because uh, what we're, or even for my own self, because I've been uh, in the flesh in Ottawa, I've seen police officers that have actually been extremely polite. But then I've also seen activity that is extremely suspicious. I mean, moving unusual objects out of budget trucks, and it makes me wonder, okay, so there must be a division within the police organization, because of course they're a corporation. That's just how they're legally set up. and. There must be this division whereby certain police officers are not granted this access to information or activities that are occurring within that corporation. And they are genuinely good people who are standing with the people. But then there are these other individuals or men and women who are supporting whatever this corruption may be. And it, it just seems really strange how they would be willing to destroy. I mean, for me, excavators are, especially three of them, destroying them in that manner is hundreds of thousands of dollars. And then also the other weird activity that's going on, uh, it just, it really begs a question, okay, who's involved in this? I know, and, and how, do the, how do the police get away with with wrecking people's property this is illegal yeah. this is all That's everything trudeau is doing is illegal um 
And, you know, to, to, I was just thinking about, you know, shaking hands with the police after the after you go to battle kind of thing. It reminds me of like, what is it, Ralph and the Coyote, you know, where they, they clock in and then they go and then Ralph is trying to catch the coyote and the coyote's trying to drop shit on him. And then, you know, coyote always gets fallen off a cliff and squished. And then they check out at the end of the day and that's when they shake hands, right? But that touches on a really good point because... Um, and you've actually talked about this in your videos, Marcel, where at really what the, the most important thing of all this is even if there is destruction that's occurring, is remaining our integrity. And what I mean by that is remaining to the truth that we're all together in this. Yes. There yes. are going to be individuals that are actually acting in a mischievous manner. And in my uh, intuitive feeling and impression is the ones who are acting without integrity, i.e. they are trying to create this destruction, destroying these excavators or doing these data leaks like what we are talking about today. They're the ones who are not acting with integrity and we can feel the difference. It is so present in our bodies that we can tell the difference when we are in the presence of them. Yeah. I mean, you posted a video today, or uh, I think it was today, Marcel, where, and I even saw it yesterday, a lady that was in Ottawa, and she just basically stood in front of the police officers, mm. and she's like, I'm not afraid of you. What are you doing? And he's the, the M, uh, I can't remember the name, M something or other. Uh, yeah, M. Russell, Ottawa. yeah, it's called Face Off yeah, with OPP yeah, yeah. cop M. Russell, February yeah. 13th. Kristen is says, her name. Yes, there we are. And she's like, I don't need your protection. I'm perfectly safe as I am. But he was getting in her way. And that in itself, if we really feel into it, that doesn't feel right. And there's a reason why. And I think the more that we become aware of this intuitive feeling of what's occurring, and this is why I celebrate what you're doing, Bogan, and coming forward and sharing the knowledge that you have, is the more we trust our intuition and speak this truth, even if sometimes we don't want to identify ourselves, it allows us to act with integrity. Because... The more we act in with integrity, there will become a moment where we can stand safe and true and be united with the people and whatever that may be. Yeah, that's 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 com uh, like I completely agree with that. And like touching on the um, <clears throat> on on the police subject for for a minute here, like um, the ones that haven't resigned uh, or quit their job or whatever, they are they're literally saying the exact same words as the past. And it, it, that, that scene is we're just doing our job. I mean, I, I don't think I have to spell it out, but you know, the, the, those words have been said before in the past. Now we're, now we're moving into a society that they, they are uh, like, they want you to have, um, something to go by food. Right. So, um, yeah. I, I, I mean, they're, they're literally, um, tearing, uh, the, 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 the fabrics of, um, the charter rights completely away from us. And it's, uh, it, it really doesn't sit right, not just with myself, but um, a majority of people that have the logic and common sense to uh, comprehend what what is going to be happening. It's, it, it, it's, it, the, the issue isn't what's, uh, the only issue isn't what's happening now. It's what this could lead to. And yeah. this can lead to a lot of, of trouble. Now, uh, the governor general, is is uh, actually one of the main people, actually the main person that can uh, get Trudeau out. So, um, with that being said, I mean, uh, it, it only looks to me as as if um, this convoy is winning. Otherwise, you know, they, they, this leak wouldn't have happened. Yeah. They, they they wouldn't be trying to like. Uh, they, I think it's pretty evident that. Uh, this leak happened so uh, so that like people would start going after the supporters and the supporters would be afraid and mm -hmm. you know I I, I I really encourage the, uh, uh, the supporters if they're getting messages to uh, forward them to authorities and and don't yeah. give up because like yeah. I mean we we have come so far uh, since this convoy has started it, it picked up so much steam now it's worldwide yeah. and we, we literally have a chance to change history for the better. Now, 
Um, I know a lot of people have their own opinions on on whatever, and I I, I honestly I, like I, it doesn't really matter to me like what your opinion is. It just like um, the ability to take in information and learn new stuff um, should be everyone's top priority, yeah. right? Because I mean, uh, the media is is oh, okay. So I, I explained it. I explained it like this to, to, to one of my buddies. So. Um, my, my, one of my buddies came up to me and they said, well, you, you, you know, it's, um, uh, these, uh, the, 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 these things are, all these things are coming out and, um, you, you know, I'm, I'm kind of afraid and whatever, but, uh, in, 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 in the long term, right. Um, we are literally trying to, uh, avoid what, what, what others can see coming up in the future. And, it's 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 kind of an uh, an issue, um, especially when you know um, our our freedoms are are taken away because of this. And yeah. you know um, the fact that um, uh, Smizer you know won't release their documents until I, I think what is it 2077, which is the actual oh no, the FDA uh, report. Yeah. 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 So um, the media takes their source and gives their impression of what that source is telling them. So people are only going off of the impression that another person is getting off of reading something that they probably more than likely don't understand. <laughs> right? Yep. So, I mean, when I'm sitting here and I'm watching this, I'm like, man, like, if you've got, like, uh, let's face it. A lot of people are too lazy to to, go, to sift through a thousand pages at a time, right? But I mean, if you actually really want to know the true information, like like Google dorks, and then um, it, it like it'll bring you to, to a whole bunch of PDF documents, right? I mean, you don't you don't have to hack a government server to um, to view these. It's it's readily available on Google, and according to Google, anything that you can access without a password or without clicking into a folder is legal to access yeah so there's there, there's a lot of information out there it's just a matter of uh trying to find it and by the way google dorks is actually a fancy name that they gave google advanced search yeah okay google advanced and search. actually you touch on some really great po uh points bogan and that um well what we've actually come to as a misconception and it's in part thanks to the organizations that have been uh, essentially ruling our planet if you will is our freedoms have been uh, projected onto something outside of us whether it's a constitution a charter of rights and freedoms a bill of rights or whatever it may be uh, they in fact are all within us and this is one of the things that i've been talking to marcel with and, and uh, I share a lot of content in regards to this. Uh, I'm not going to share my channels in this conversation because I don't think it's appropriate. But with uh, this context of what you were talking about, Bogan, is the, the very freedom that we want to achieve, if you will, because we're feeling this outside force trying to take it away from us. It's clear and apparent that there is something that is trying to strip us of the very thing that we should have. And yep. it's frustrating. And I totally get that. But the beautiful thing is, it is always with us. No one can ever take it away from us. I want people to recognize that no matter how frustrating it may get, you always have your freedom of choice and you always have the freedom to express. And so, and some of the things that I talk about is it's, your emotions, your thoughts, and your actions that you always will have control over. No one can ever take that away from you. And you can always stand for what you value. And this is why I love celebrating people who act on intuition, because our intuition is the very emotional guidance that allows us to know what feels right. And then our intention is what allows us to direct our thoughts in a manner that we can act with purpose and then our actions when they are aligned to not only our intuition and our intention we can act with integrity 
And that means we are united as people. And just like you're doing today, Bogan, in, in sharing this knowledge, I absolutely celebrate it because what's beautiful is you are acting on all three of them. And as a result, you are bringing about an opportunity for us to reveal the truth of what's being done. And I celebrate that. I think that's freaking incredible because we can create something new out of those actions. Well, I, 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 I truly appreciate, um, uh, your, your, your words. Um, and I mean, none of us would be in this posi- uh, this position if it wasn't for you know the the truckers' convoy, right? So mm-hmm. like, you, you yeah. know, they, uh, we, we have a lot of credit to give to them as well. There's uh, man, I I I know they've uh they 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 have a channel on um an app called Zello, and um you get to you know hear hear what they're actually doing and. Um, what they're actually going through, and a lot of them are, are, are going through a lot of stuff to to uh, to try to keep our freedoms and our rights intact, right? Yeah. So and and, and again, like I, I mean, a lot of them will say this this isn't just about mandates, and it's not. It's 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 about freedom in general, yeah. because of, of what all of this is going to lead up to, right? I know I know like the average person won't be able to see it. Um, however. Uh, when, when you take a step back and you like put two and two together, it'll start to make sense. Especially when you're from a country that was under communist rule. And um, Joshua, you've probably seen a couple videos of Romeo that I've been putting on. He, yeah. he, he asked me to this morning, he's like, Marcel, this is, this is, this is the, the peak. It's going to fall one way or the other. People need yeah. to get into the streets right now today. People should yeah. be outraged by what Trudeau has just done. And I got a phone call. Jesus. Here, take a pause, guys. Hold on. Okay, we're back. Um, just to follow up on what I was talking about with Romeo from Romania, he has lived this life of communism. And if they did not stand up, what year did he say? Like in 89 or something then he would probably still be under communist rule. So he's taking this very seriously, even though he's in Romania, and there is convoys and issues out there just the same. The whole world is is watching Canada. We are making the initiative for the world. It is not just for ourselves. This is for everybody. So the truckers started us. We are not turning off our engines. We are just getting revved up. Essentially, I am calling all Canadians to get outside and rally, guys. Go on strike for your countrymen. Mobilize peacefully, but mobilize tomorrow, today. Hold the lines. Act as a responsible nation, a responsible nation for the entire world, not only for Canada. Help yourselves. Help everyone. God help us all. And uh, why don't you guys continue? Sure. And, uh, well, I love what you said, Marcel, because... If we stand united, nothing can stop us. And I even shared a video where if we link arms and we do not tolerate anyone trying to trespass against us, i.e. a police officer who is acting against us, they will be terrified of us. They will have to be walking away and admit that they have failed in their duty. Yeah. Bogan? And I, I, I would like to reiterate uh, how important it is uh, that everyone that has donated to any um, funds regarding the truckers' convoy change their password immediately. Um, again, you can also go to a site. It's called HaveIBeenPwned.com. You can search it up on Google if, if, if you can't like get the spelling right. But um, this site will, will will show you if your your email has been compromised, and these people will will eventually um, end up getting the password. So um, it is very important that everyone changes their password to their emails. Okay, and we'll put the link to that in the description as well, um, which you were talking about, um, which would again um, for the pond website, right? I have been pond p w n e d dot com. Um, to finish it off, guys, my name is Marcel Ernie. This is Ernie Racing News. And I just got another email from the fellow who was saying, I'm not sure how you deal with it all. I'm getting threats. And I told him, like, you know, they wear off after a while. And he responded, 
The initial shock has almost already wore off. I've been harassed before by people I know. It's a different feel when it's from strangers. And then he goes on, it's almost an honor to have this attention. <laughs> Cuz um we're all yeah. doing it for the we're all doing it for the good. Um Yeah. And and to put it into perspective, Yeah. Still there, guys? Yeah, keep going. Uh, to put it into perspective, the ones who are still fighting this out are the ones who are most afraid. And that's why they're doing these terrible planting tactics and, and leaks. They're on straws. We have them against the wall. So, everybody... Yeah, don't, don't fall for the lies. Yeah. Stay tuned for future videos. I am Marcel Ernie. <laughs> this is Bogan and Joshua. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Bye.